Hey, welcome back. And uh, for this video, I just want to draw a quick sketch. I have, uh, I, I do love collecting cards and I love Star Trek. And this is just one of the cards that I have uh, on the board here next to me. So I figured why not draw him because he is a really cool, uh, cool character. Probably the, uh, I mean, Picard is my favorite, but I think next to that would be uh, Cisco here and then Kirk. Because I think his character is awesome and that this space, this space nine is just an awesome uh, series. Okay, so let's draw this, and I'm just gonna use a 6B. Let's just go with it. Um, this will be a pretty quick sketch. But I just wanna draw something real quick this morning. So let's just say that's the head. Let's just land on the eye. Again, this might not be as instructional or detailed. Um, in the explanations, I just want to kind of sketch something and maybe if I can, maybe something good will come out of it. So this would be, I guess, normally what, you know, you, you can try to do or something actually I love doing is just, just picking up something and just start sketching, you know, not a lot of planning, you know, you don't want to like you know too much planning sometimes it just kind of ruins the mood in terms of drawing i know that sounds weird but it's like if you prepare everything and then you start sketching when something do go wrong you're like oh my god it's like you feel like you're you wasted so much time like you're so invested in this and that kind of just kind of kills it but if you just just come in and then just start scratching sketching and then you know things to go well it's okay you know you can start over doesn't matter or draw something else okay so i'm just gonna start the eyes here yeah the deep space nine series is awesome the fact that it's just like one long story you know that's pretty cool I mean, it's, it's pretty outdated. I try watching it again. Some of these episodes are pretty old and... But yeah. When they do go back to the main storyline with the Kardashians, it is pretty cool. I'm way off on a slant here. Yeah, sometimes with these quick sketching, things that I do get in trouble with is that I'll sketch what I think is correct. And I'm sketching from, let's say that's the nose, okay, and, I, and there's a wing right here or whatever. Um, and then you end up drawing things are incorrect because it's based on your misconceptions of what or conceptions of what you know this nose looks like but then you, you kind of look at it again um, you know the shadows are wrong but it's because in your head you, you think that's the way it looks like and then you keep drawing those things um yeah, it takes me a while to get rid of that kind of stuff so the best thing to do is if you do run into that uh you know you keep drawing the same thing over and over again and you will end up making the same mistakes. It's just to slow down, you know, slow down a little bit and really try to hone in on the, uh, on what you see. It's like right here, the nose, there's a, there's a huge uh, highlight right here. But if I, if I were to draw it, you know, I would shade it differently because I, if I don't pay close attention to what, what's actually happening in the, uh, in the reference. I'm trying to be more accurate, just broader strokes. There's the cheekbone. This part is all dark in here. It's got a mustache.
I know this is not gonna look like him. I mean, it's, it's pretty hard. Lower lip, right here underneath is much darker. It's all, I guess his face on the bottom part is much darker overall. So I can actually do this. Yeah, let's try that. Can't tell, this one looks like a lot of shadowing down here. And this is pretty dark. Eyes are way off. Actually, I need more shading here. Let's well, let's yeah, let's do more shading first before I try to correct those things. It's got a really cool uh, brow area here. That's kind of what attracted me here. And he is bald, so you can see those bumps in on the forehead, which is really cool for drawing. See the white of the eye too dark. So again, um. When I'm drawing this, I you know I keep thinking, oh, it's a white eye, so you just leave it white, and then it's totally wrong, right? Because when you do, uh, everything becomes off because this is uh, actually in the shadow. So that's you know what I mean. It's like when you when you're sketching or when I'm sketching, like if you don't pay attention to what you see, those are the kind of mistakes you make. And that looks better. Yeah, getting rid of the white of the eye actually made a big difference, didn't it? Another thing here, see I shaded this line here. Again, that's, you know, I shouldn't be hitting it that hard because you want to be able to, you know, now you're outlining the figure. So it's kind of, that turns into more like a little illustration as opposed to a, a nicely shaded drawing. Okay, so out here, let's see, there's the forehead, which is really cool. It's got the nice shine. So here is the highlight. And then again, this sinks in, so this middle part is slightly darker. There's two bump here. One, two, so this one's a little darker here. And then there's a highlight here. Here, the inside here is always very dark. So here is the terminator from the rim lighting here, the back lighting. So this needs to go all the way up, kind of consistent. And then it's gonna get darker here and it fades out here. Looks kind of weird. Yeah, this is a pretty crappy sketch, isn't it? So this is what happens to most of my drawings. <laughs> So now let's make it darker. Maybe I can salvage it somehow. Yeah, sometimes the drawing can be salvaged. Um, sometimes 
you can just kind of keep going and just kind of throw it away afterwards. But it needs a spark, right? It needs like some kind of cool part that looks really good and you're like, okay, that's cool. And then it's worth saving. But without that, it's kind of hard sometimes. It's like if, if it's too messy, just too many things are wrong, then yeah, it's pretty hard. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can save this. Let's go in and add in some detail. If we get that look, it's got a very nice look. The nose is important. Let's try to get that shine. So the highlight is like here. Give me on the side here. And his skin is dark, so you know we can go a little bit darker overall. So that's one thing I have to keep in mind. This part's darker. That's why the nose is gonna come about because of what's darker behind it. Here, comes all the way down. This nose is right here is pretty dark. Right here uh, underneath is dark, but what you can do is you can actually leave this a little bit lighter. It's kind of like an ex artistic expression. You know, instead of filling it all dark, if you leave it lighter, it actually looks kind of cool. It's like kind of looks like kind of bounce light, but it could also be like a style. You know, you see a lot of artists do that because when it's just a dark area, it's just if you fill it all in, it gets kind of boring. You know, there's no life there. It's just okay. So it's slip. Yeah, my initial drawing of it was way off. All right, so sorry, so I stepped away to sharpen up my pencil and I think I got it way too sharp. It is, it's kind of crazy. But let's just go with it, see, see how it is, because I am drawing pretty small. Maybe this might actually help. So let's see the lip. Yeah, it's actually okay. It's this sharp. Just a little slower if I'm to draw, you know, shading the areas like this. Yeah, it's a little too sharp. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can concentrate maybe on the uh, smaller areas then. Here, here, here. Kind of got a blank stare on the eye here. There's a little bit of a rim lighting here, so we gotta catch that. It's actually very important. So this area looks a little bit better now with that little hard edge right here for the rim lighting. So again, this part, see, I'm leaving it too light. So I gotta remember that you know he's got a darker skin here, so see this part needs to be darker as well. Now it looks a little bit better. It's okay to go slower on this because you know if, if I were to make everything dark at the beginning, I might actually screw this, screw this uh, drawing up even even uh, even worse. Because sometimes, you know, if you go too dark, then it's like it's hard to bring back the the light area. Okay, so yeah, so it's really sharp. So this area is hard to draw because it's just not doing anything. So I'm just gonna come back up here. 
since my pencil is so sharp, take advantage of that and put in the details on the eye first. There's a shadow, this brow area right here that comes across. So like again, this part in here, you can just you don't have to shade it black. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So hopefully it'll give more an artistic expression. It's much darker here, bulging here. Eyebrow. And then the eye here, I can run this across. And then back here is very dark. Let's see. All right, let's bring back this highlight. Got some veins up here. Get this edge right here, this rim lighting right here. Yes, that one is important, it's cool. That's gonna give this whole face a shine. Darker here, I'm just running along. So I'm missing this edge right here somehow. Something is off, isn't it? Now let's come back down here. So this is all black right here. Here's Terminator. Maybe I can just concentrate on that. Here. Here. Bulge. Bulge. Bulge here. Again, this is all black down here, so I'm just going to skip that. Just as I expected, slanting this way, it's because, again, it's, it's my direction of where I'm looking, where I'm, um, where I'm stationed at. It always slants this way. But if I put my head over it, then I can, I can see that at the beginning, but again, the camera's overhead. Okay, let's see. We can kind of frame this a little bit. We can add in the shoulder right here. That'll help with the pose. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, this part right here is a mess. Let's see if I can bring some of that back. It's a little bit too much. I think it's too dark. The eye's weird. Seems to have gone worse ever since I sharpened up my pencil. Again, you lose the the sketchiness, the faster um, shading with the, with, a, with a very sharp pencil like this. Yeah, 
I think it's okay. I think if I put my head over this, I might be able to salvage it and turn it into a drawing. But it doesn't look like him. So in that respect, it's a fail. But it still could be a cool head. Okay, so this will be, I guess, a fail drawing unless I come up with a good fix later. But overall, it's a... Uh, it's a fun little sketch. I mean, this is kind of stuff that you know you should do more often. It's it's nice. It's just sketching, you know, no pressure. Just have some fun with it. See what works. See what doesn't. Yeah, I could. I think I could fix some of this. At least get some of the likeness back. I'll probably just dab a lot more like I can bring in let's see I can come in and just clean up some of these areas and then they'll allow me to you know reshape some of it maybe add some of the muscular structures correct structures back yeah so like oh yes like this line right here that really kills it. That's why that's why I get for outlining the uh, the face. Just totally kills the drawing. I should come in here and shade it. It's a smaller line. Yeah, that looks, a little, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm gonna put my head over it, see if I can save this drawing. Kind of looks like uh, Samuel L. Jackson right now, so it's kind of strange. <laughs> All right, so it's like a mix between those two. Let's hope I can make it look like uh, Benjamin Sisko here. Okay, so hopefully I'll be back with a much nicer drawing. All right, so here's the uh, final drawing for this, and this is the card. And yeah, the lightness is off. Uh, I think the slant of the eyes, uh, the perspective on this is, is a little bit off, so his face doesn't even look like him. But uh, the shading was a lot of fun. I really like the uh, the forehead area. It's got some nice shine. It's got some nice texturing. So that was pretty cool. Um, the nose is always fun to draw, um, especially with the uh, the strong uh, rim lighting. And then this part is all dark, uh, not very interesting. And then I just kind of add in the uh, part of the shoulder. So yeah, that's it for this drawing. I mean, it has some nice elements. It's a lot more shading because uh, it's a darker skin. But the shine really turned out nice, you know, when you do uh, shade in a lot more, you know, the whites really pop out, so that's kind of cool. Alright, um, so that's it for this drawing, and let me show you the uh, the cards I have, which is I'm pretty uh, jazzed about this one, actually got uh, his signature. So this is one of my, here's my favorite captain, Captain Picard, got his signature as well. Avery Brooks, and then I got uh, Captain Janeway, so I'm just kind of... Kicking out, kicking out here uh, with a little bit of Star Trek collectibles and unfortunately that's all the captain's uh, cards I have so I got a lot of the other characters. Alright so but that's uh, another subject so hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little drawing and I will see you guys next time.